Welcome to the Grid-Centric Demo Screencast. In this demo, we will showcase Windows on OpenStack, powered by Grid-Centric Virtual Memory Streaming. Earlier, we took a snapshot of a Windows 7 virtual machine at the login prompt. We're now starting 90 Windows 7 virtual machines by cloning them from this snapshot, skipping the traditional boot process. In the Virtual Memory Streaming Virtual Machine Count pane, we can see the VMs starting up in quick succession. In the Memory Utilization pane, we see the significant savings grid-centric technology achieves. While nominal memory for 9 Windows instances should occupy 18 GB of RAM, given that each instance has 2 gigs, in practice the instances only use around 4 GB of RAM collectively. A well-known issue in Windows Virtual Desktop Infrastructure deployments is the excessive storage requirements imposed by the bootstorm. In the IOPS pane we see significantly decreased load on the storage subsystem. Despite starting Windows Virtual Machines every few seconds, average I.O. operations per second hover between 1000 and 1500, with occasional peak at 2000. This is a fraction of what the load would be without GridCentric's virtual memory streaming. Windows instances are all being renamed on the fly while launched, following the pattern of GC Windows 7 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Let us fast forward now. As we fast forward, we see more Windows instances launching. IOPS consistently remain in the 1000 to 1500 range. Memory savings reach 56 GB saved out of a nominal total footprint of 74. We now log into a randomly chosen virtual machine and see that the Windows hostname has been set to GC Windows 7 008, as expected. As we continue fast forwarding, we verify the VM is fully functional. The IOPS and memory savings metric continue their trends as more Windows instances are launched. Another instance has had its host name set to GC Windows 7 024. And we log into a third randomly chosen instance, whose name has been set to GC Windows 730. Throughout the demonstration, storage load has not moved from its average of 1500 I.O. operations per second. Once 90 Windows instances have been launched, the memory utilization pane reveals staggering savings of around 150 gigabytes from the original nominal occupation of 180. These savings are achieved by grid-centric virtual memory streaming technology.